Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble OPPO A52. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, insert it into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back core to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. Insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. It is always important to be careful around the camera area so as not to accidentally damage the lenses. We also need to be careful in the area of the side buttons because in these places may be located cables. And we open the back cover and proceed to unscrew the screws at the top. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o it is better to place the screws on a special surface, in a certain order, just in case. If these screws are not coming out well, we can use a magnetizer. If the screws get stuck, we can use tweezers. And don't forget to unscrew all the screws. We unscrew the last screw at the top and we can proceed to detach the middle core. To do this, we first use a thin plastic film, unclip a few clips and then use a thicker tool. We go along the edge, detach the clips and thus detach the middle cover. It is always good to be careful on the corners because the cover is held very tightly on the corners. But also be careful with the edge of the display. And we can carefully detach the middle cover. We need to lift it carefully and turn it over so as not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable. Then we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector with a non-metallic tool and also disconnect the battery connector with a, the same tool. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. We unscrew the screws, place them on a special surface, separate from the previous ones. After unscrewing the screws, we can detach the cover with a loudspeaker. Carefully hook the edge in the right place, lift and remove the cover with a speaker. After that, we disconnect the connector of the interboard cable. Disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable and release the cable itself from the channel, fixing it in the display frame. And we can detach the subboard. All the same, we find the right place where we can easily pry up and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headset jack port and other elements on the back side. In our quick test of the microphone hole, the microphone hole is protected by a mesh, we can't insert our instrument into it. Even if we insert an instrument, the microphone hole is L-shaped, located perpendicular to the microphone hole on the subboard, so even if we insert something into the microphone hole, we can't damage the microphone. And the vibration motor remains in the display frame. And we move on to unscrewing one screw in the upper part. The screw fixes the core, which hides the front camera and the earpiece speaker. We unscrew the screw, remove the core to the side. After that, we need to disconnect the connectors. We disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, disconnect the connector of the interboard cable, the connector of the cable to the display, and we can detach the front camera. We can also detach the rear cameras. 
gently hold the cameras by the edge, hold them so they don't accidentally fly out and remove the cameras to the side. Please note that some cameras have protective copper heat dissipating foil on them. It is better to peel it off and save it for assembly. So we detach the last camera and we can move on to detaching the motherboard. All the same, carefully hook the edge, lift and remove the motherboard. On the back side, the motherboard may be held in place by thermal test. Finally, we need to detach the battery, unfold the green tab and gently pull it upwards, thus detaching the battery. Please note that in our case we don't have a protective transparent coating that protects the interboard cables. And that is the end of our assembly, thank you for watching and see you soon. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.